Hello everyone, this is Valkar. Welcome back to another episode of the Alien vs. Predator mod pack. I have made some more advancements and stuff, added some farmland over here. Um, I cleared down my island, put a little place for my sheep and my horses. Um, I have a sheep that has apparently gone astray somewhere. I got this area here built with clear glass. I've been using that as a disposal for aliens that I've found. So it's actually working pretty good. There it is. And for some reason I'm having an issue with some of these sheep. Somehow finding their way out of this fenced in area. I don't know if it's squeezing between the carpenter blocks and the actual fence. I may have to replace it with a carpenter's fence. I figured this episode I want to do some running around because I have some coal seeds growing. But I've ran into a bit of an issue Throw those in there that the essence that I have, the only essence that I have on me is essence dust that I've got from mining and trying to figure out how to get seeds the essence seeds out of it and fire and water, air, earth as in stuff infused. And if I go back and look at how to get it, it says essence seeds. And if I see how to make essence seeds, it doesn't give me a recipe for making essence seeds. And apparently if I had this essence orb I could make the essence. Collect it out of stuff, but don't really want to do that. I want the seeds, but I guess somehow I can't make the seeds. And I've was wanting to try to get into producing power, but I'm gonna need I, I pretty much need seeds first. So I'm gonna go in search of some land to hopefully find stuff. Um, I made another change to the mod pack. I've put in the journeyman map because I like having a map that I can actually look at and zoom in off of a little bit better than the PvP map. Um, the PvP map does have a few good things on it but What's going on here? So apparently I'm having issues with my boat again. Let's see. Uh -oh. Nope. Hmm. Can I seriously... Oh... Uh... I was going to use the boat and move the boat around and apparently the boat's being buggy again. And it's not... No, 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 no. Back forward. Reverse. Forward again. I'm going to get out of this. I will get out of this. It's, apparently there's a big hole where the boat was and it's just causing a lot of issues with the boat. Kind of falling into the hole. Again. And, oh. I thought I was out. Okay. Got out. That is quite irritating that the boat made this hole like that. 
The boat didn't do that before. I don't know why it's doing it this time. But I'm going to use the boat and I'm going to try to sail around and see what we can find. So hopefully I'll be able to find some land and stuff. Find a village or something. I'm going to go travel some direction I haven't before and I will be back once I find something. Okay everyone, I'm back. I've been I actually found a decent area. I started running around here chopping down or cutting a bunch of grass because I know that it's a rare drop to get the essence seeds. It actually hasn't been that long because I'm 1,600 or 1,300 meters, but I did find some essence seeds. So I'm going to go back out to the boat. Hopefully I can find it. Give me a bunch of more seeds on my way out there. There's the boat. Uh, another thing I was hoping to get was a couple of cows. Oh, it looks like my inventory is full. Yeah. I just want to get a couple of cows and grab some more dirt while I'm out in an area that has dirt. Since my island actually had no dirt on it, it was all sand, and I've had to transplant all the dirt that I have from other locations. So couple of things I can do. One, I can use the boat. Or two, I can use this portal. I think I'll do that. Use the portal. Jump over here. Look at that real quick and throw the rest of these in here. And then I think we'll make a run around a few more places. Don't really need to run around with that stuff on me. That should be good. Um, do have some crop. Let's see, that's a 1-1. One, one, which I knew would be solid ones. Which is fine. I know it won't really grow to be a better one on its own, but whatever. This whole farm area here is all tins. I have grown. Kind of upset that this thing, that this did that from the boat. I need to figure out what I'm going to do. I may replace the boat with an airship. Just because I think the airship's a little bit faster, and then I don't have to worry about it. That should now that only destroyed the one. I need some cows, so I'm gonna go ahead and hop back in my boat. I didn't align the boat with the world. So all I have to do is right click on it and get back in. So since I'm using the journey map instead of the PvP map, it actually lets me show where I've gone. I found another meteor down here and traveled from the base here. I think the area I started was actually over here somewhere. No telling though. I'm going to do some more sailing around, see what I can find, and I'll be back. So, I've done some more sailing around, and I found this crafting table on the shore. I think this looks familiar. It's in my first episode, First Death. So, 
pretty much this land that I found is all one big area around. I'm going to continue selling around and see what else I can find. I'll be back in a little bit. Well, I found an interesting little cove here. Um, unfortunately, it's already been infested with xenomorph. There's one on the mountain, one over here is just killing the sheep. Um, there's a decent, decent amount of coal if I need it over there. Not coal, but copper. Um, I think I might have enough with what I've been mining. And once I get the essence seeds growing, I'll pretty much be set for ore for a pretty good while. Um, trying to find a just to see what I can find for here. I might be able to fit the boat through this. I'm gonna try. Yep, and yep. It's a small little bay, and a bunch of xenomorphs over there somewhere. Unless I think they're xenos. Could be any hostile mobs, because they all show up red. Um, I do not know how I feel about the boat, because the boat can only, f if the water is one block deep, I cannot fit the boat through there. A couple of these little cove areas I can't really get into. So I'm doing a quick little sail around to see what I can see. I did find a cow and I used a portal gun to get him into the back into the base. One thing I'm not sure on at all is the des despawn timer for like the xenomorphs. It's like how long they stay before they'll despawn, or if they even do despawn. Because I'm actually terrified that they don't, because that massive amount of a hive that I had growing underneath my base. Which I'll add in that screenshot. And try to give a little bit of information about it. So I took a screenshot during while I was loading in. And as I loaded in, the map or the game glitched a little bit, did the loading glitch where you can see through everything. And it showed me everything under showed me underneath that mountain. And it showed about 14 queens. So in between the last episode and this one, I dug down in there and used lava to clean them out. I died several times, which is why I'm only level 18. I used lava to kill them out and started using the portal gun to drop them into the lava pool that I made. So the lava kills them. I don't get experience from them. I don't pick up any of the drops. All the drops are destroyed. Because I don't really see a reason for running around trying to kill them and get a bunch of stuff from them like that. Because it's really annoying having that much royal jelly that I don't think I'm ever going to need. Um, yeah, In between episodes, I ran around try to get rid of that nest found a cave spider spawners, a couple of those, and several spots where apparently the cave spiders were fighting back as they were spawning and poisoning the xenomorphs that were there and causing several xenomorphs to die, which would then cause. Because it had gotten to the point where I think it was achieved the point where the max entities were being ex exceeded. So, uh, 
I continued, well, they continued killing them and more would spawn and kill more of them. And when I got down there, cave spiders started spawning. And apparently, the new xenomorphs, the Christopher morphs or Christomorphs or whatever they are, they're, I guess they were supposed to be the bats, if a bat was infected by a xenomorph or by a facehugger. They were all over the place down there. And I actually think it's not just uh, bats, but I think the cave spiders as well. So that kind of made it a little excessive on Xenos down there. I want these cows. Okay. Jump out of the boat. Swim ashore. So I'm actually hoping that being away from my base I'll get some of the Xenos to despawn down there. Grab me some cows. Um, good safe place to throw the portal. Next one up. Where'd my boat go? Oh. And the boat continued on without me. Um, as of right now, I need no sand. I have a barrel full of sand. I have a bowl, barrel full of sandstone. I s ran my sand in the furnace, or in the smeltery, to make all the clear glass for the lava pool. And then there's a pool of lava that was nearby, and I pretty much salvaged all the lava out of it to use to fuel this mob killer. Um, let's see. So, continuing around this ocean that I'm in is maybe completely a uh, landlocked ocean. I want to continue on sailing and I'll be back. Hopefully I'll figure out if it's all connected or not. I'll be right back. So I just found this. It's a baby skeleton fighting a xenomorph. And it's like baby skeleton one. I just sailed off into this cove area over here. Um, right through this area here. And into this area over here. I don't recommend ever doing that again. That was such a tight fit. The boat barely fit going through there. And I saw a xenomorph as I was coming out. And it's like, oh no. Because I was coming through. I had shore on both sides of the boat. Like right up against it. Something over there. It's like a single block. Nope. I don't know. I don't want to get too close to shore and the xenomorph or facehugger jump on me. Um, home base is over here. And the meteor is over here somewhere. So I'm going to continue around. I have a feeling this is just, instead of an ocean, it's like a land. It's an ocean surrounded by land. Which is kind of odd. Um, I'm getting a little bit of lag on turns when I'm recording for some reason. I don't know if it's just because I'm recording or what. Um, I don't know if there's another swamp or just a cove area. It's not very deep. That's like a channel coming in, and that's about it. Yeah. There's a cove. Maybe a little river going that way, it looks like. And, yeah, this goes back in. And looks like I've almost completed a full circle. I'm almost back to that meteor. So, 
that solves my question about how big my ocean was for this map. Apparently it's an ocean surrounded by land with xenomorphs on all the land. That's great. Now, I'm going to head back to base. I guess I'll be the end of this episode. There's another xeno over there killing stuff. And here's a meter I had found. I had found it the previous night and noticed there's a lot of activity around it. Looks like a skeletal archer and Xeno were fighting. I'm hoping these mobs will actually stand somewhat of a chance against the Xeno th infestation. I'm afraid they probably won't. But that'll be it for this episode. I'll see you guys next episode. And next episode, I think I'm going to work on the power generation. I'm going to try to rapidly expand or speed up my seed growth and start to get some good seeds growing. There's another volcano from the first episode. One of the islands from the first episode. This stuff is all not on the map until just now because the German map didn't... I didn't have journeyman map when I was first doing the episode. The EVP, or not EVP map, the map that came with the pack, which was the PVP map, did not show a lot of the stuff. So, it didn't show a lot of the areas and, not areas, I uh, think of what words I'm meaning to think of. But it didn't show a lot of the map after I've explored a certain distance, it would erase the map pretty much. So you wouldn't continue to see it. And I got sun coming up. Um... I don't know if I got anything popping up on the shore over there. I don't see any glowies of it being the stuff. And boom, back into my port area. And realign. Alrighty. So. And actually I didn't put anything in any of my chests. Which would have, I would have had to have aligned with the world again to do that. I will continue on and see you guys next time. Bye bye. And it starts raining after the sun comes up again. It's like episode one all over again.